bet a lot of hmm. people are getting ready to go out this evening yeah. for big New Year's Eve celebration, Damon. And everyone wants to know what it's going to be like. Mm. Obviously, it's cold. Kind of cold. It's kind yeah. of cold, kind of gloomy, but it's, it's going to stay cold, but just barely above freezing. That no need to worry about icing mm. if you are headed out okay. between now and say around midnight. Unless you're up in toward northern Oklahoma, we saw this winter weather advisory in effect, and this is until 6 a.m., mainly for just our top counties here, included Enid, Woodward, as you make your way in towards around Ponca City, and that does include this stretch of I-35 here. Oklahoma City not included in this risk for at least winter weather, but still, we may have a little bit of light freezing drizzle. This is what I expect if you are headed out tonight at midnight so that after the festivities are over, what will you be driving through? Maybe a little bit of fog and then around the metro and in towards southern Oklahoma. And again, maybe just a little bit of ice up and toward northern Oklahoma. But then again, we should be cautious when we say a little bit of ice because it does not take a lot of ice to really, really slow things down and just start get you spinning all over the place. Now, no need to worry about it right now within the metro because temperatures were cold, but we are above freezing right now. 39 in War Acres, 39 here in Oklahoma City as well as in Norman. We're still watching a cold front. Look in northwestern Oklahoma, already down around the freezing mark. And look at Guyman, current temperature, not wind chill. The current temperature right now is 21 degrees, so it is cold. And this cold air moving in this direction, which means that we will start the new year on a very cold note. It is going to be just downright chilly. Now, let's take you outside right now. Clinton, we have some clouds and a few breaks in the clouds as well on top of your television screen there. We picked up about two tenths of an inch of rain. Hey, what a great way to end the year after how dry it has been to get the rainfall in here. We picked up almost four tenths of an inch of rain in Concho. Cloud deck rather thick in Concho, and I expect that it will stay thick for the rest of the evening here. So as you head out tonight, it will be cold. We don't fall below freezing until after about 2, 3, 4 a.m. And when you start today, tomorrow, down to 29 degrees in Oklahoma City, 24 in Enid. Look at this. Woodward, Alva getting down to 20 degrees on January 1st. Yes, it will be cold. Now, there will be a little bit of a wintry mix that could roll in here tomorrow early morning from Lawton to Oklahoma City to Stillwater, Enid, Ponca City, then all rain in eastern Oklahoma. Not expecting much, if any, accumulating snowfall in the metro, maybe just a little bit of a dusting up in northern Oklahoma. So cold rain tonight as you head out before midnight, 34 degrees. If you're downtown, it'll be 34 degrees above freezing, wind chills in the 20s by 8 a.m., 29 degrees as we ring in the new year here early in the morning, maybe a little bit of a light wintry mix by noon. It's just cold, temperatures in the mid-30s, and then clouds begin to break up in the afternoon a little bit, still in the mid-30s. So cold for January 1st and winds around 10 and 20 miles per hour highs across the state tomorrow look like this. I'd say mid 30s and south you're above freezing north of Oklahoma City. You're at or below freezing here. Look at that. Not even getting out of the 20s for highs in Enid and 30 degrees in Ponca City. So drizzle until midnight, slight chance for a wintry mix in the morning and then warming as we head into the weekend here. So a.m. wintry mix, otherwise partial clearing by the afternoon. It'll be cold, sunny and cold for Wednesday and then lower 40s for Thursday. So when will we finally get above freezing or above normal? I should be saying uh, not until the weekend. Their highs in the 50s and you're up to date with the latest first alert for